Hello, I'm Jay Cottrell. I'm with the Radiometric Group of Conica Minolta Sensing Americas, and today I'm here to show you our new CL500A Illuminance Spectrophotometer. Uh, it's our first handheld Illuminance Spectrophotometer capable of um, measuring CRI and right on the unit, so it's completely um, standalone and it's very turnkey. Uh, all you need to do is uh, turn it on and start measuring. The CL500A is applicable for a broad range of industries, including lighting manufacturers and lighting designers, where they need to measure CRI, color temperature, and illuminance all at once. Here's the CL500A. As you can tell, it is pretty compact and lightweight. It has a built-in lithium-ion battery, which charges via the USB connector right here, and in conjunction with the included USB adapter. Right now, the screen is showing the spectral screen where you take a measurement and it will show you the spectral power distribution. In addition to spectral power distribution, the CL500A is capable of measuring illuminance, whether in foot candles or lux, chromaticity in X, Y, and U prime, V prime, tristimulus values, X, Y, and Z, excitation levels, the uh, dominant wavelength, color temperature, and CRI. You may also call up individual indices, Rs of 1 through Rs of 15, including the important Rs of 9, which a lot of lighting manufacturers desire. Now that I've given you an overview of the meter, let's go take a couple of measurements. Here's the CL500 A. It's very simple, it's not intimidating at all. There's only a few controls on the unit, the on-off switch, the measure button, the up-down controls for the uh, screen, the back key, and the menu key and the return key. To take a measurement, all you need to do is point the cosine corrected receptor head at the light source, hit the measure button, and you'll get a return of the reading. Another part of the CL500A is the zero calibration cap. It serves two purposes. One is to protect the cosine corrected receptor head as well as providing a means to zero out the unit. It'll ask you to do a zero calibration periodically. This is to ensure accuracy of the unit. Here's a reading I took with a spectral power distribution. But as I mentioned, the unit is capable of measuring other metrics. And the way to do that is quite simple. You just go into the menu, scroll down to measure options, hit the return, go down again to color space, hit the return, where you will see all the different combinations of data that you may elect to display on the screen. You have your lux or foot candles and X and Y. You have the same metric, lux again, or foot candles with U prime, V prime. You'll also have lux color temperature or delta UV. You also have X, Y, Z tristimulus values. You'll have your lux dominant wavelength and excitation and you'll have your CRI, which will show individual indices from R1 through R15, including CRI, which is a combination or an average of R1s through R8. It'll show you the spectral data, or the spectral power distribution, which I had on previously, and you'll have your custom. Custom's pretty different in that it has four spaces or four metrics, which you can call up individually, so depending on what you want displayed on the instrument. In this case, We have lux, color temperature, dominant wavelength, and CRI. For more information on our CL500A Illuminance Spectrophotometer, contact us or visit us online at sensing.conicaminolta.us.